Uh, my name is Jason Alvedras. I'm the writer-director of Silence is Olden. I actually wrote this when I was going to school. I was studying uh, film and sign language, and so I was just thinking, I wonder if I'd be able to make a film that could have the same impact for a deaf and a hearing audience. All these are gummy bears? So Silence is Olden is about an old man who gets kicked out of his house by his old lady, and he goes to find out what it is that's going to get him back in the good graces of his wife. He stumbles upon the romantic comedy genre, which we all know that in the end, the guy does some amazing feat and wins back the love of his life. So he's inspired by this and starts trying to uh, pull his own romantic ending. Unfortunately, everything that he tries ends up being a lot different than the way it turned out in the film. Until the end, when he finally decides to be himself, that in the end is what you know a real relationship and real love is about. I think people will really enjoy the story between the grandpa, I think they'll fall in love with him, they'll fall in love with his wife, and just the heart that's in it. Are you guys ready? No! People don't, you know, they don't come to baseball fields and magically make up like they do in the movies. Jason and I we started talking about just some ideas we had on the back burner that we had been working on or developing. And when he had told me the story of Silence is Olden, I just couldn't stop laughing. I thought it was something very simple, heartwarming, and just really fun. So I pitched it to her, and then she did what with it? What did I do? I gave Casey Calhoun a call because if you ever need a movie done, you gotta call this girl over here. We watched it, we did a Kickstarter, we got the money, we scheduled it, and here we are today, day one. He's gonna run through by himself, and I'm gonna say go, and you're all gonna scream and run after him. Hey, my name is Sammy Mai, and my character is the grandson. The grandpa and grandma are fighting a lot, so. Grandpa takes his anger out on me. What did you see? The warhead. I really love the boombox scene. I love when Grandpa's holding the boombox outside her door and his arms get tired and it breaks. And you just want me to grab it and take it yes. over my head and throw it on the ground? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that just happened. I'm really proud of everybody involved, the DP, crew, the producers, and Casey, our editor, Rachel, everybody. I'm just really, I love my crew and I'm so proud of how everything's come together so far. It's been a blast.